Hi Sagittarius, it's me G1 right here with G1 Insights, your favorite tarot reader and astrologer. This is your life and love energy for the month of August 2019 and today I'm doing your life and love energy, okay? So let get, let's get started. <laughs> Sagittarius, it seems like love is on the brain very heavily this season, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are either currently going through a breakup or a heartbreak or um, you were going through that, okay? Either way, I feel a sense of accomplishment when it comes to healing your soul and healing that hurt and healing that pain that you felt so deeply. A lot of you may have or maybe you are now feeling really overwhelmed and sad and probably even a bit depressed due to the situation. I feel like there was um, a situation that took place recently that really, really got your emotions running really, really high. And in the month of July, we had Mercury go retrograde, so we know that with retrogrades, they can bring things up from the past, but ret uh, Mercury went retrograde in Cancer, and because Mercury doesn't do well in Cancer, it definitely could have brought up a lot of deep wounds and emotions when it comes to family, when it comes to um, things that you may have experienced or things that you may have been through. Okay, people bringing up old things, people throwing things in your face, maybe somebody said or maybe someone did something to actually hurt you or to cause you any type of pain, okay? Or maybe there just was a big, um, big, um disagreement between you and I just sense a lot of a, a lot of feminine energy here so I'm not sure what that means for you okay this could be a woman that you know or maybe you could be a Sagittarius woman okay but it either you are um dealing with a lot of this this emotion right but I feel like a lot of you are healing from it and so of course that is really great news because this is saying that you're not allowing that situation to keep you down and to keep you sad I feel like there was I feel like there was a big falling out due to um a plan or strategy that was in place and um the plan didn't really go through as planned. Like, it, it did not happen the way it was supposed to happen. So there was a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunication. So, of course, I felt I feel like you guys were, if there was not a breakup, then there's still definitely a lot of deep emotion regarding a situation or something that you had planned and something that you wanted to do. Okay, um, and I feel like you guys have, have deep, strong emotions about this particular situation, and you could be really, really sad or upset about it, and the good thing is, I feel like, you know how they say, like, the treasure is at the end of the rainbow, <laughs> and, like, I feel like the rainbow is coming out after the rain, okay, and then as you go down the rainbow, you will see the treasure, because, of course, after every trial and tribulation, the sunshine comes out, and I feel like for you, Sagittarius, that is definitely the case, okay, you guys are really healing through something, or whatever it is that you were seeking help for, or whatever you were trying to do research in, you will actually receive that help this season. And just so I can say this, this is actually for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus and Sagittarius. And it's interesting because your energy was pretty much the same, but it's a lot more heavier this season. So I even said this to you last season where I um, said that this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. And I even saw a lot of love in there, a lot of disagreements or heartache or something. But this season, I see it a lot more clearly um, and this could be with a water sign, okay, that you are experiencing this with. It could be a water sign, like a, um, a Scorpio, perhaps, or it could be a Cancer. Um, I feel like this person is misleading you, or they, um, not even that they misled you, but I feel like they're not being as forthcoming, or they probably weren't 
for as forthcoming as they should have been. And I feel like that kind of messed up the plan for you a lot. And it kind of caused you a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. And and the beautiful thing about you, you know, you're a fire sign. And fire signs don't stay down too long. You know, like you, we can't keep you guys down. You know, no matter what you are dealing with, no matter what you are facing, you know how to pick up the pieces. And, I mean, you may get sad for a little while, but then you'll get over it. Like, you'll get up and move on and say, okay, I don't have time for this crying bullshit. Let me move on. And I absolutely adore that about you. Okay, Sagittarius, so um, either way, I feel like you will receive some help. You will receive some type of guidance this season about your finances or like you will receive help. This could be um, a lawyer. This could be consultations of some sort. This could be um, someone playing like an mediator or something like or something. This could just be someone who is just extremely valuable um, who speaks with authority, who knows finances, who, um, who, who basically, um, take authority very seriously. Um, and she also takes her finances very seriously, but this is, um, again, I sense a lot of feminine energy here. And it's like this energy with this woman is actually around for a lot of us this season, because, you know, back in July, we had, um, that full moon in Capricorn. And again, this is why I keep telling all of our, all of the zodiac signs to at least wait until the second week of August to really do anything major, just because with all the eclipses that happened in the month of July, it brought up a lot of deep emotions and made us lazy. For some of us, we had energy. For some of us, we didn't. For some of us, we had disagreements and arguments, and it kind of just kind of, it, it was a good season, but it was interesting and kind of tricky. So, and then Mercury went retrograde. So we're still done with a lot of that same energy the first week and a half of August. We're still dealing with some of that. And so you might be recuperating from all of this chaos that had just recently happened. And maybe now you're feeling much more in control now than more than ever. But this is a water sign that was kind of playing a lot of games. Like, a um, again, this was definitely a Scorpio or a Cancer. Um, and they, they either, listen... If you're not the if you're not feeling so overwhelmed, then this is a person who can be very emotional and very sensitive, and they tend to bring that that energy with them. Like every time you're with this person, you just naturally feel drained because this is a person who carries a lot of toxic negative energy with them. Um, they can be very um, just sarcastic for no reason at all, or they could be just, like, I feel like they know you, or they think they know you, so they, they're trying to do whatever it takes to basically to try to bring you down, and as fucked up as it sounds, it's the truth, like, they are, they don't care, like, they could be very selfish, and just pretty much self-indulgent, like, just all up into, the, into themselves, and not really caring what you think or feel, and, um, but it's all good because, again, I feel like the universe is blessing you with resources anyway. So whatever contacts you had made in the month of July or whatever strategizing, it may not have worked out in the month of July, but whatever strategic planning you were doing in July, if it did not work out then, then in the month of August, expect to receive a phone call or expect to receive some type of uh, correspondence in reference to a situation that you... Oh, that you possibly were dealing with in the month of July, okay? So definitely, um, and I think that is a beautiful thing that you're opening your heart again if you were dealing with a heartbreak. And I also believe that it's really, really good that you continue to work through this healing process. Um, and it may not have been nothing where someone cheated on you and broke your heart or anything like that, but it could have just been like maybe you were shocked. Maybe you were shocked that this particular person was even mistreating you or lying to you or misleading you. Maybe you were shocked that you were even going through those things, right? So now I feel like you're just simply recuperating. So it's time to detox. It's time to clean your mind. It's time to 
purify your soul and start all over again. Like, you know what? My plan didn't work out in the month of July, but I'm ready to soar. So this is the perfect season for action, my love. So take advantage of that. If you need to call on spirits and guides and archangels to help you, then you do that. If you need to practice a, a spiritual ritual, a new one anyway, then you do that. But you are a very spiritual person, Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like this is going to be a time where you want to call on every spiritual aspect of yourself that you know, every god, every goddess, every archangel, every guardian angel, you want to reach out and be in tune into your spiritual self because this is um, a force that is this energy that that is trying to um, bring you down is really not good energy. This person is very toxic and they bring that energy with them everywhere you guys go. And I feel like you're like, no, I want happiness. I want I want to be complete. I want better. So with that new moon happening in Leo, okay, um, that is just as a sign. So ex again, expect to feel in control. It's 11-11 right now anyway at my clock. <laughs> That's interesting. So expect to feel liberated and control. Expect to feel renewed. There is going to be like a huge new beginning for you. And again, the resources, whatever it is that you were seeking and searching for in the month of July, you're actually going to be receiving those emails and correspondence from these people or this particular woman who is going to help you with your finances or who's going to help you with your resources. Okay. Okay. And so, um, there's no real need to worry, though, Sagittarius, okay? Everything is working out the way it's supposed to in divine timing. So just hold on, my love, okay? It's already happening. So I love you, Sagittarius. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for commenting below. Thank you for all your love and support. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message, okay? And say something nice, okay? Be nice. I love you. Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.